Many of those responsible for machine-based collections, collections managers, curators, and archivists, are trained in the care and treatment of paper-based collections, but may not have the knowledge to address the needs of machine-based media. As a result, many of these collections have been left untreated and in inadequate storage conditions, putting our cultural heritage contained in these media at risk. Preserving audiovisual media presents many challenges and expenses. Playback equipment is often obsolete or unavailable, creating a short life expectancy for the media. Quickly changing technology assures the need to migrate to new formats multiple times in the life of a collection. Knowing what is contained in these collections is itself dependent on playback equipment. And deteriorating media may need the expertise of an outside vendor to preserve the original materials, create preservation copies, and to make content accessible through digitization or other formats. Long-term care of audiovisual materials is multifaceted and approaches to the preservation of these collections may vary depending on the size of an institution, the funding available, and the organization's technological infrastructure. In discussing the care of audiovisual media, the terms conservation, preservation, and restoration are frequently used, although in a slightly different context than when talking about paper-based collections. In audiovisual preservation, conservation means safely keeping the original item and its related hardware so that content can be retrieved. Preservation means retaining the content of the original item, possibly on a different recording medium, so that it is safeguarded for future use. And restoration means re-recording the conserved item with improvements to make it more acceptable and useful to modern ears and eyes. In working with these collections, collections managers will encounter a variety of formats, and in some cases there may also be multiple copies of materials within a collection. These multiple copies, sometimes referred to as generations of copies, are a byproduct of the production and preservation process. For example, for film collections, Kodak has formulated specific terminology for copies. The production or acquisition copy is the original recording made when the content was acquired. Post-production refers to the editing or mastering copy. Distribution or exhibition copies are made from the edited master. Archive copies are those which are generated later for preservation purposes. Formats, institutional capacity, and staff familiarity with their audiovisual collections all play a part in an institution's ability to care for these materials. In this section, Alan Lewis, audiovisual consultant, will discuss some of the fundamental principles common to the care of audiovisual collections. There are certain basic elements that are common to all of the recording media that we deal with as audiovisual archivists. The first of them is that we're dealing with systems as well as the stuff that sits on the shelf in the back. So we need to be technologically involved here. And those systems include, one, obviously the media that sits on the shelf in the back room. Secondly, the equipment or the technology by which that information was originally captured and recorded on whatever that media is. And finally, the standards or the software that go along with that technology and enable us to fix information on the recording media by the use of those machines. A concept that some of us talk about is that of the archival set. That's a set of like materials which would include the preservation copy, the best available copy or the copy that was accessioned by the archives, sort of at the other end of some sort of a continuum, a reference copy which might be an inexpensively made copy of that preservation material that's adequate for research room use. We might also make an intermediate copy something made from the preservation copy that we can use as a duplicating master when clients come in and they need high quality copies for some academic purpose or for reformatting and repurposing the material. And lastly, we may get around to making a replacement preservation copy when that highest quality copy that came in and was accessioned by the archives begins to fail because the media itself is deteriorating or the technology that it was recorded on is beginning to go south, as they say.
When a collection is offered to an archives, the first thing that the management of the archives needs to do is determine whether that collection fits into its collection policy, whether it's appropriate to come into the archives. Secondly, what's the physical condition of the material? Can you really deal with it? Is it of sufficient technical quality? Kind of doing a cost-benefit analysis to see how it works. Does the potential donor of the material actually have the intellectual property rights to give you that material, or are there constraints uh, to its coming into the archives and being accessible uh, for research purposes? How difficult and how expensive will it be to retrieve the material from the media on which it's being offered when it becomes necessary to reformat that material to preserve it. And a final consideration may be whether the donor or the potential donor of the collection is willing to provide you with the funds to process that collection into your holdings, to catalog it and to make it accessible to users. And will they provide the rights to market the material? because one characteristic of audiovisual collections is that they are very frequently sources of raw material for repurposing, for making new documentaries for television, cable TV, or audiovisual purposes. Some considerations in making a decision to reformat the material are obviously the dollars and cents to do that initial reformatting, doing quality assurance after you have selected the medium or the system into which you will be reformatting the content. Some administrative costs like packing the original material to go out to a laboratory, insurance and those sorts of things. And project administration, don't forget your time has value and that should be factored in to the project. Two factors should determine your reformatting priorities. The fact that some of your media are probably deteriorating faster than others and some of your technologies are becoming obsolete faster than others. So it's a matter of judging which of those elements needs to be dealt with first. 